Hey guys, DJ Slink here again. Um, just thought I'd give you guys a quick rundown on uh, exactly what my particular template does for Touch OC with Serato effects in the sampler. So uh, I'll just run through all the pages with you. What we got at the top, if it'll focus, there we go. What we got at the top here is D1 and T D2, which is the two different effects for the left side, and uh, D1 and D2 for the right side. So they're essentially copies, but um, D1 and 2 are different, um, and D, like D1 and 2 red are different, and D1 and 2 green are different. So as you can see, D2 uh, green and D2 red are the same, and the same goes for... So in D1, uh, D1 green, we've got um, all the different modules on off switches and the right hand side is the echo and you can change the different um, echo speeds. Um, we've got an LFO and a crash button here, a uh, crusher button, so you can quickly switch between them on the fly. Um, and over here we've got your high pass filter, flanger and phaser. Uh, and so yeah, you can switch between them all, turn them all off, on, on and off, as much as you like. Um, so that's identical to the D1 green, just for, just made a, a new page for the, the right hand side. So D2 red, um, <coughs> a few more features here, we've got the repeater, the breaker and the filter on off switch, and I've named them them uh, because uh, up here we've just got a bunch of beat um, beat changes there, uh, except for the one on the right, which you can change from a flanger phaser, high pass filter, or low pass filter, and uh, that can sound really cool. Um, and of course, that's exactly the same as the one here on D2 green, just for the right hand side of the deck, uh, the right deck. Um, sampler, we've got uh, just the six pads there and the four the four banks so you can flip between the four banks of sample as you can see here you, uh, when I when I switch between the banks you can see the, the banks change there see so that can be really cool you can have all these samples and at your fingertips on the dance floor um, and also change the volume um, so if you look at the uh, sampler over here you've got the uh, you can pick between left, middle, or right, and change the volume. So I've just MIDI mapped them to these simple controls here. Pretty easy. And of course, at the end we've got the cue points for the left deck and right deck. And they all light up, it's pretty cool. So uh, <clears throat> I'll give you a little demo of what it sounds like when I, when I mess with some of these effects. Let's put a tune on. Might turn it up a bit. Let's do some uh, cool stuff here. You can hear the echo there. If I change the echo time. First page. Let's check out the other side. So that's just the repeater and the and the filter at once. If we add the breaker, we can get some really cool effects going. I'll wait till we get a better sample here with the the song. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You can do like a full breaking lead out. So 
so there you have it. Um, and there's another thing I wanted to show you as well. I've I've linked up the pages here, so that when you press them, uh, it automatically opens the page that you want to look at. So say for example, if I if I click the sampler page, you'll see the sample on your screen as well as being able to hit them. What? Yeah! Everybody loves little John. So that's pretty cool. And then when when I flip back to the effects, um, the effects thing will come up, and that's really handy because when I've got two pages going, I can I can't always see what's what's on and what's off. So it's handy to have that open there. And uh, when I hit the cues button on the side, everything just kind of closes up. So I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what the possibilities you can do with this software. Um, obviously. This is by no means the limit. You can, I mean, I was thinking today, what if I added more controls to the X Y pad, and have it trigger a loop roll or something as well? Like, it's just crazy. You could, you could go really nuts with it. But this is what I've got for, for the time being. And uh, anyways, check out my website if you've got any questions. Hit me up, uh, EvanProductions.com. Peace out.